At 10, frustrations from Ferguson spill onto the streets of Milwaukee. A big group staged a sit-in at police headquarters. The protesters wanted to know the name of the Milwaukee police officer who shot Dontre Hamilton. Hamilton was shot to death at Red Arrow Park a few months ago. The protest began at Red Arrow Park this afternoon, and from there, the group marched to police headquarters and stayed inside for a couple of hours. Steve Shamraj is live downtown with more on what happened. Steve. Mike Carroll, there was a lot of anger from this crowd of protesters and a lot of restraint from the Milwaukee police officers here. In the end, though, restraint won out, and this sit-in ended with a handshake. It was a tense two hours in the cramped hallway of Milwaukee's police administration building. A half dozen officers tried to keep order while taking a barrage of taunts and insults from the crowd. Among those directly addressing officers, the mother of Dontre Hamilton. It's been four months since the mentally ill man was shot and killed by an officer in Red Arrow Park. For months, his family has longed for some answers. And how long are you going to stay here? Until somebody come out and speak with us. I've waited four months. I'm tired of waiting. I'm not waiting anymore. Protesters demanded to speak with Police Chief Ed Flynn, but about 7.30, they settled for two other high-ranking officers. We want these charges to be brought on the officers for murder because if Dante Hamilton was shot 15 times. Deputy Inspector Terrence Gordon would not give the crowd what it wanted. That's the name of the officer involved in Hamilton's death. But he did negotiate an end to the sit-in. I will relay your request to the chief. I cannot stand here and answer for the chief. You know I can't do that. That was enough to ease the tension and send the crowd home. Not before the two sides that were just facing off traded a handshake and a hug. One point of frustration that kind of made things a little bit worse for these demonstrators is they were in the wrong building with their complaints. Since the Milwaukee Police Department is not handling the investigation in the Red Arrow Park, that was done by the State Department of Justice, and charges will come from the district attorney's office. Still, it all ended peacefully. Live at the Police Administration building tonight, Steve Shamraz, today's TMJ4. Yes, that is a good outcome. Yes. Thank you, Steve.